I'm going to begin by removing the flywheel from this motor. Now, sometimes these are on there so tight that you can't get them off, even with an NWSL Northwest Shortline puller. And for those tough cases, uh, this is the technique I use. This is the V-plate from the Northwest Shortline puller. If you don't have this, uh, you can take a, a thin piece of sheet steel, which you can get from a hardware store, and file a notch in it. I'm going to slip the plate in behind the flywheel and suspend the motor in this jeweler's vise. Now it's important here, you don't want this motor clamped in here, you just want it hanging by the flywheel. Here's a close-up, we're looking right down into the top of the flywheel now, and you can see in there the shaft that we need to drive out. In a pair of pliers I have a small 18 gauge wire brad, and I'm going to use this as a punch. Okay, so the idea is with a pair of pliers, I'll hold the brad in place and position it so it's right on the shaft inside the flywheel. And then just gently tap till I drive out the motor. And this happens to me frequently. You may have to use several nails before you can drive out the, the shaft. stubborn persistence and a few nails later our motor is free and it's unharmed which is the important thing.